Hello everyone and welcome to lesson 38 of C programming on the Mac. In this tutorial I'm going to be covering how to use typedef in C. And uh, basically what a typedef is is kind of what it sounds like. Um, you're defining your own type in C. So as you know in C we have our types such as ints and we have doubles and floats and those are all types that we use. And what typedef allows us to do is basically make our own type. So we could have a type of people, and we could say people, and then declare our variable, like such. And that would be legal uh, if we use typedefs. So I'm going to show you how to use that now. So go ahead and go up to File, New File, or the action button, Add, New File. And just go ahead and create a header file. And I'm going to skip the process, because I've already made mine. but Go ahead and make yours, and once you've done that, uh, just open up your uh, header file and start typing. So what we're going to say first is type def, and basically this sets it up, and this is saying to the compiler that, hey, we're going to start this new type, and here we are, we're going to go define it. So we're going to type def a struct, so we're going to make our own type for a struct, and we're going to call it people. So uh, all we have to do is struct. And then we have to, of course, include the elements of our struct. So we could say int age float height float. And we'll just call this uh, weight. And there we go. That's good enough for our struct of people. So now, uh, as you can see, Xcode's already sort of uh, laying out this type def for us, and it's already showing what we have inside. And now comes the point where we uh, basically name it. So when you're done, you just uh, have to name it something. So we're going to call this people, and you just finish it off with a semicolon. And now you can see right here, it changed the type to people. So what this just did is allowed us to uh, define our own struct, and we're going to call this new type people. So the new type people is basically this struct right here. It just saves us a little bit of writing. So you'll see how this works when we go back to our program. So in our main.c file here, we have to make sure we included our header file, of course, or else we can't use it. So um, normally, if we had a struct, you know that we'd go uh, something like this, and then we'd uh, you know call it something that we already created, and then we'd give it a variable name. And that's pretty much how we do it. <clears throat> but for this case, we uh, type deft it. So now we have our own type, which is type people, which is basically, in essence, just the struct of people that we just created. So now we can say people and just give it a variable name. So um, now we have this type people, and we made a variable called Sam. So now Sam uh, works the exact same way as a normal uh, if we were to declare this as a struct of people, struct people, um, th it works the exact same way because again, we're just type defining it. We're just defining it as something else. So sam.age uh, using dot operators works the same way. Sam.age gets five. Sam.height gets and make this guy a midget. And uh, so Sam, actually, let's make him a little older. Say 16, he's 5 feet tall, and Sam.weight, let's give him 400 pounds because he goes to Burger King enough. And now we'll print out this information. So, well, we'll just print out his weight. Sam weighs, uh, since it's a float, uh, we're going to print out a float. So we do our percent %f for float. And Sam weighs blank pounds. And now we can just say Sam dot weight. So let's go ahead, build and run this. And let's look at our console. And as you can see, Sam weighs 400 pounds. So this, this worked exactly the same way as it normally would if we said uh, struct people and then Sam. But we're just kind of saving ourselves an extra step. And we get to define our own type now, uh, when, instead of declaring a struct. So this way, it just makes it a little cleaner, and we can see that it's a type people. So um, that's one cool thing that we can do with it. 
but um, we're not limited to just structs either. We can type def pretty much any primitive type that we want. So if we want to type def even an integer, we could say int, and we could make our own cool uh, int, and we'll just call it cool int. And now basically we made our own type called cool int, but in reality it's simply just an integer. So there's not really much point to this, but it's still a great example. So we could say cool int, and we'll call it, um, I don't know, num gets five. And now let's just print this out. So percent D for an integer. And now we'll just print out num. So let's look at this in the console. And as you can see, Sam weighs 400 pounds. And then right here we have the value of five, which is what we just printed out. So that's pretty much how type def works in C. All you're really doing is redefining something that um, you're uh, defining right here. So it's a, we take a primitive type, and here we took a struct, and basically we just define it as something else so we can use it in our program as a normal type. So that's pretty much how type def works in uh, C. And um, it might not seem that useful, but believe it or not, it uh, is used quite often. And uh, if you go and watch the Objective-C tutorials uh, later on, once you're done with C, or if you just are interested in Objective-C, you can check out the Objective-C tutorials. And once you get working with Objective-C, you'll notice that they actually have a type def of their own, which is called bool. And uh, bool is actually type def, uh, and it's some, I don't know what exactly the value is. But my point being is that um, there are reasons to type def stuff, and basically just for readability. So we instead of typing out struct people, we can just type out people, and it means the exact same thing, and it looks great. So this was pretty much the tutorial on uh, type defs, and I hope you enjoyed it, and many more tutorials are on the way. So uh, to be updated, just please subscribe to the channel and you'll get updates right to your subscription feed. And uh, also, if uh, you have any questions, just leave them in the comments below. And I'll see you next tutorial.